as Israelis, our identity is tied to the Zionist story, to 1948 being a heroic war of independence and an incredibly important historical event. In my case, it was even more so because I had a father who fought and a grandfather who signed the Israeli Declaration of Independence. I wasn't told anything outside the realm of the Zionist propaganda. I believed all of it. It's an incredibly difficult process to come to terms with the fact that everything you've been told up to that point was actually not true. It was a made-up story. The truth lays on the other side. And I remember when I heard the first time Palestinians describe what happened in 1948. They were describing a massacre, a story that is not just slightly different, but is the absolute opposite, diametrically opposed to what I knew to be true. It's not that there's a difference in nuance. It's not that there's a difference that can be bridged. You have to pick a side. The side I picked involved rejecting Zionism. I was driven to act to learn more about the Palestinian resistance. And the more I learned, the more I wanted to be in it as part of it, shoulder to shoulder with my Palestinian friends. That's how I viewed what I wanted to do, and that's what I started to do. I didn't learn about Zionism in Israel in a college course or a textbook in high school. I grew up with it. I heard what they said. I knew what they did. If I can stand up today, and call for justice for Palestinians. If I stand up today and call to boycott Israel, knowing what I know, and having been raised by the people who I still love or are my family, then everybody can do it. Indeed, everybody should do it. It's the right thing to do. It's the right step to take.